Once again, I found myself doing weird shit for work. That fit my trunk. It is all the way to the back, and it just barely fit. I had to lower the seats, though. Which meant I had to rearrange my CDs and everything. So. Yeah, so yesterday I went to our old location and wrapped uh, a cardboard $20,000 box with strapping, and now I'm gonna put it in the flight case, which is a much better solution. So. Meanwhile, we're here at the uh, let's wait and get some cheaper gas station, you know, Costco. So we're at a uh, Streetsboro Recycling. Normally I go to a recycling place that's way out of my way. Streetsboro is on the way to Home Depot, Lowe's, blah, blah, blah. So um, we're going to see how much uh, money we get for that. Well, um, Illumina paid, but I didn't expect the copper to pay so well. So it was 55 pounds of copper and 11 pounds of aluminum. And uh, yeah, $140. So that was uh, worth the uh, hour of transporting and scrapping. Today is the dawn of a new day. So it came, ordered it two days ago. And uh, she's, she's a Trinity dual size bin rack with 72 plastic bins. It's gonna roll. There's a roller. And my goal here, I'm gonna roll it through here. Hope it fits. I should measure this time. Um, I got fasteners. I got fasteners, 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 fasteners. I'm at a point where I want to organize the fasteners. Oh, wait, there's more fasteners. Let's see. Fasteners, 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 fasteners. Now, most of these I'm going to keep those. It's going to be downsizing the nails, the drywall screws. And there's two things. One is uh, one place to be able to just go grab them. And I'm going to labelize them. And uh, they'll be on plastic trays like this. You just lift them off if you're doing a project. But also that way I'll know if I'm low. So instead of spending 15 minutes digging around, I go, oh, wait, I don't have any. Next time I go to the screw place in Middlefield, which is an Amish uh, store. It's kind of fun because they heat with propane and propane lights uh, and solar. Um, I can pick them up really cheap instead of, you know, going to Hobo Freight or wherever. Not Hobo Freight. Uh, Home Depot Lowe's, which is a 20-minute drive. So, yeah. So, shouldn't, should be, height shouldn't be an issue. Um, still getting flack about the move of that cabinet. It's beautiful where it is but this part came up and this it just well see the top there's a top on that that had to come off so still need to put a light over here just because you open the doors it blocks all light it's pretty good up so we got a lot of boxes for this a lot of little boxes some instructions mostly in chinesium so that should be fun but there's pictures so we'll get right into it I was getting a little concerned. I opened all these the big box, the little boxes, and a little box, and a little box, metal parts, metal parts, metal parts, base. Opened up all the the bins. Should be 72, haven't counted. And uh, still hadn't found the parts box, but uh, lo and behold, voila, this is going to build all that. So that should be good. And these instructions are perfectly fine. 
I don't know why I was complaining. Let's see, page one, capacity. Uh, ooh, uh, yeah, mm-hmm. Um, okay, step one. Okay, just match the part to, oh, okay, oh, that's good. I guess there's only one, two split washers. My former boss hated those. Looks like there's only two fasteners, the seven and the two. It's a G. Well, it's a G and a split washer. He hated split washer. I guess that's the number, 18 plus. No. What's the J? Well, looks like we're gonna be using G's. So I gotta find some G's. There should be a lot of G's. So yeah, we'll get right on that. Okay, now I'm impressed. So I came with a little paper things, put that in the parts of the side box. These are the seven smaller ones, really separated. These are the main fasteners, so we're good to go. One time use is a black bag though. So um, I did put some thought into this and I knew that this would be a slight issue, but I have some solutions. So basically she don't quite fit in the space. However, I believe when I downsize this rack and downsize some of this, I'm gonna have more roomage and basically I'll just roll it back, pull it out, pick the side I want and roll it against the other side. Uh, two, this is I think a bracket for against the wall. Um, these are gonna keep, those are very important. And I think those are extra screws. I don't know why there's two. But overall, I'm fairly impressed. I'm glad they came with the wheels already put on. These went together. The only difficult thing was really getting into those screws there was not fun, but um, we worked out a solution. So, yeah. Um, so, one of the reasons I went with this is I can take these off. So, if I'm working on a project, I can just grab them. And they got little divider things. Um, but also, I can rearrange them. So, if I got, uh, I found another box of nails and it's in between two, I just shift delete them. So uh, what I don't know is predominantly up here, it's fasteners, so screws. But um, we're going to start with all the screws and sheet metal and things. Um, but I think, ironically, let's start with nails. Get those nails and those nails into there. And then, uh, yeah, I don't know. But... Uh, and attack things. One of the other reasons for this is I have buckets of miscellaneous things. You go to garage sale. Well, now that I have storage, I can sort those into something, hopefully. <laughs> so, um, yeah, but uh, she's big and double sided. Got all these for free a couple weeks ago, but of course, the very first one I open up, I'm finding nuts and bolts, I'm finding short nails, I'm finding galvanized nails. I thought they were just roofing nails, and I thought, hey, that'd be something smart, because I don't think they make anything shorter than that. I think that's three quarters of an inch, maybe an inch. You know, yeah. Good. Good times. Well, I've been wanting to do this for a while, make some cutting boards out of the uh, maple tree across the street. Uh, this is just fresh from the chainsaw. Um, she's got some big edges there. So uh, what I did is I took these two and put them through there many many times this one the most uh this one's gone through a few times but you can see um she well you can't see but she's really wet the process does dry it out so then um this is the side pretty much fresh from the uh, sander i've got 36 grit on there i'm trying to just flatten things out so uh, these are really really wet <laughs> i mean you can feel the the wetness uh, not so much on this one um Took most of the bark off by hand. And uh, this one's been sanded to 180, then 120. Um, I think I'm gonna just put a light oil finish on here and see what it looks like and then uh, let it dry out a bit. It's to dry. But I think eventually um, I'll either probably maybe make one of these into a Lazy Susan for the center of the table. Um, and then maybe make another one for down south, cutting board. So. Hmm, we'll see. Well, I think it came out pretty good. Um, I put some Howard's cutting butcher block. It also coated this because it was very thirsty and hadn't been coated in a few months. Um, 
I just put some round bumpers on the peripheral. There's six. And, uh, works pretty well. Right now, of course, it slides really easily because of the how it's on there. I gotta let that sit 20 minutes. Move to sell for time, is it? Sell at 5.30. Um, then I can wipe this down and get a little bit less shiny. Um, I didn't finish the bottom because I, I want this to soak in and this is still wet. So I'm gonna let that, you know, just kind of dry out. I did put a little bit on the side. I'm not sure it's gonna do anything. Looks like an Ouija board. <laughs> is there a God? Nope. Hmm. Weird. They are definitely hungry today. I put some feet out a couple hours ago. And uh, that one's already halfway gone. That one's like two thirds gone. So a couple of them know about the back one. Where's the back one? That's not the back one. There's the back one. Definitely gonna have to feed on those before the night. It's a, uh, it's a little cold out here, but uh, what a weird snow drift. Never, there's a pond down there about three feet weird and then there's grass over there fuck it's cold